Hello my little shamrocks and welcome back to another exciting episode in my kitchen. Today is Sunday. We are going to be making a end of the week meal or beginning of the week meal however you view it. This is just something I kind of saw online and I thought that would be good to make. So we're making um, fajita stuff chicken. Now, you guys know I don't eat a lot of meat, I don't eat a lot of dairy, but I'm like, screw it, let's do it. We're just gonna jump right into it because why not? So it's pretty simple. I've got my bowl of onions and peppers chopped up there. Fun fact, I don't actually like green peppers. I don't care for green peppers. I don't really know why, I just don't. It's got peppers and onions. We put some cream cheese and some regular cheese. Uh, in my Instant Pot over here, I got some um, rice and beans going. So as you can see here, I've got my peppers and onions all chopped up. Like I said, I don't like green onions, green peppers. I don't know why I said onions. And I got some of this boneless skinless breast. We're gonna grate some cheese. We also need some cream cheese and probably some taco seasoning. So in our pan, we're going to do a nice splishy splashy of oil. Let that heat up. Go ahead and get our peppers in there. to add a bit of taco seasoning to it so the splish of water So now that we've got to cook down a bit, I am going to go in and add four ounces of cream cheese, which is half of a block. And also probably about a half a cup of shredded cheddar. Now just let this all melt down and Thank you. 
also going to add just a touch more of taco seasoning. my bowl and just go ahead and I'm going to take my chicken boobies here and I'm gonna clean them up a little bit because like this stuff these tendons here gross me out so I'm just gonna clean them up a little bit you're gonna want to cut the thickest part of it so we're going to cut this big boy right here so it's a little sort of pocket take my mixture <clears throat> and I am going to fill her up in there Salt and pepper. We're going to go back over to our cast iron skillet and put these on the stove for five minutes each side.